At number four tonight, a well-known tattoo artist from Metro Detroit charged with crossing the line. A client accuses him of sexual assault, and by one account, it could be part of a pattern. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaquette is in Plymouth tonight with the disturbing allegations. A local tattoo artist showed little emotion in court as he was charged with fourth degree criminal sexual conduct. And while his family chose not to speak with us outside the courtroom, in court, a prosecutor laid out a case for why he was a danger to society. 26 year old local tattoo artist Alexander Boyko appears in court today through a video monitor. Prosecutors arguing he could easily try to leave the state and should therefore have a high bond. He is a high profile, uh, prolific tattoo artist. We are considered that there may be a uh, flight risk. Boyko is from Livonia and charged with three counts of misdemeanor criminal sexual conduct in the fourth degree. It involves alleged inappropriate contact back in April 2015 with a 22 year old female client from Redford. Boyko has worked at various local shops and the website Jezebel.com recently published an article claiming more than 200 women have accused him of improper behavior like asking for nude photos and unwanted touching. A world renowned, great uh, tat uh, talented tattoo artist. Um, these allegations are from 2015. We're confident we have a defense to, to all, these, all, these, all these false allegations. In court, his attorney entering a plea of not guilty. Nearby, a local tattoo shop owner telling us he's deeply troubled by these claims, having known Boyko and what's being alleged. Obviously, if you're getting something on your arm, you should not have to remove an entire garment kind of thing, stuff like that. So if, if something seems like it's a little bit unreasonable and kind of weird, it's would probably be a red flag. Boyko was given a $50,000 10% bond and ordered to have no contact with a witness, no leaving the state, and to begin wearing a GPS tether. Also, this additional bond requirement coming from the judge. And you are not to perform any tattoos on female clients without uh, adult supervision. If convicted, Boyko faces as much as two years behind bars. He will be back in court on December 20th at 8.30 a.m. for a probable cause conference. From Plymouth, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.